Good morning. I am walking down the road of my complex here at the Oasis Country Club in Palm Desert, California. Yesterday it got up to 114 degrees and uh, it's been climbing ever since uh, uh, this first of this week. It's a good thing we have air conditioning. Well, it's been over a couple of weeks since my heart attack, and I thought I would just uh, give you an update of where I am and and uh, what's going on as far as the future, my future uh, hiking outdoor activity is concerned. It took me about two weeks to uh, get in to see my cardiologist and uh, I had some real high hopes on uh, his prognosis and uh, options for me uh, moving forward, but I was very, very, very disappointed. Not to belabor the, uh, the story, and uh, a lot of people say that preachers have a good, have a tendency to make uh, short stories long so but basically the bottom line was and, and by the way I wasn't uh, I wasn't disappointed with this prognosis if I would have found out from him what happened and uh, some procedures are going forward uh, it would have been different but uh, my wife and I went away with more questions than we had answers. So again, to make a, <laughs> a short story long, uh, his, his final words to uh, me were, you're okay, go ahead and live your life, just enjoy your life, keep taking your uh, meds and uh, just go out and enjoy life. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was hoping to get a little bit more options than that. My wife and I had so many questions I asked him, but it seems like that we were an inconvenience to him. Uh, when he walked in the office, it's, or when he walked into our room, it seemed like that he was trying to uh, get out as quick as he came in. So we are in the process of seeing another a cardiologist and getting a second opinion. And, uh, that should be uh, within the next couple of weeks. I wanna give a huge shout out to a guy that follows me and my videos on YouTube. Uh, his trail name is Grandpa Kilt. Uh, he was an APRN, I think I've got that right, a registered nurse for cardiac uh, uh, patients. And so uh, he took all the information that I've gotten uh, from the hospital test and, and uh, different things like that and has interpreted it for me. And uh, I talked with him at length and uh, he kind of made sense to what uh, all those medical terms were. He's retired now, but uh, he, was, he was a tremendous, tremendous help to me, again, to understand uh, what all those technical uh, terms were and, and exactly what I went through, uh, what a heart attack was, and uh, my prognosis to, uh, of going forward. And so again, thank you. Grandpa Kilt. By the way, his wife Shirley also joined our, our conversation and uh, uh, she helped interpret the um, prescriptions that they had given me. Again, that's pretty scary not knowing what you're taking and uh, that can affect your heart. So again, thank you, Shirley and Marv. Uh, you were a, a tremendous, tremendous blessing to me and my wife.
So basically, from what I can understand, uh, I did have a heart attack uh, when I was doing the lake or a cove to lake trail there in La Quinta, California. And I uh, had to be airlifted out and went to ER. And, uh, and here I am now. But I have two blocked arteries, one on the right side of my heart and the other one on the left side of the heart. Uh, some indications that it's 80% blocked. Uh, the cardiologist said that they were 100% blocked. So I'm not really sure which one is which. But the great thing about it is, and I didn't know this, but uh, they say that you can uh, develop, grow, um, it's called collateral circulation, or what they say is tributaries uh, in your heart that can get the blood flow uh, to your heart if you have uh, a blockage there. And so this plaque in my arteries had been building up for some time now, and it was just a perfect storm that day. It was very hot, which contributed to uh, the heart attack, from what I understand. But uh, I guess these tributaries, <laughs> it might not be the technical term for it, but these tributaries provided blood flow uh, to my heart uh, where the blocked arteries uh, and the clogged arteries were not providing blood flow to my heart. And again, uh, uh, Grandpa Kilt said that probably uh, those arteries developed while I was uh, hiking the Pacific Crest Trail and, and was, such, it was in such good uh, physical shape. The cardiologist told me that it was a slight heart attack or, or uh, I think he said a mild heart attack. Uh, and so he gave me uh, two blood thinners and um, increased my uh, atorvastatin, statins, uh, cholesterol medicine uh, from 10 milligrams, 10 milligrams to 40 milligrams. And so that's what I'm on right now to help the blood flow and uh, uh, basically kind of uh, compensate for the blockage uh, in my heart. The doctor said I had to limit my hiking uh, to just walking around the uh, country club complex here uh, until my heart uh, healed. And so, uh, this is where I'm at. It's uh, uh, one guy told me that uh, probably uh, in the fall I could get back to hiking uh, again, do long distance hiking. Uh, I had planned on doing a couple of long distance hikes this year. I planned on going on the Colorado Trail in July, but uh, uh, the doctor. Uh, definitely said that I couldn't do that uh, but uh, I'm gonna try and do a portion of the Sierras uh, mainly the John Muir Trail but going northbound I'm gonna try to do that during the fall and so again if uh, if I can and by the way I'm, I'm feeling real good uh, I'm not winded when I walk around the block and uh, when I walk, of course, it's just flat. It's not uh, any kind of elevation. Most of the people that I've talked to said that I've got a very, very good chance of being back on the trail uh, very soon. And so uh, until then, I guess I just have to be patient and uh, do what the doctor says and uh, uh, just take it easy until my heart uh, heals uh, uh, back a hundred percent. Let me say thank you again for all of you who have reached out to me on social media and uh, said that you're praying for me, you're concerned about me, you're thinking of me. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. So, uh, 
you have any questions, leave them in the comment below and I'll try to answer them. And again, I'm not a medical doctor and I'm not really familiar with all the medical terms and everything. And so hopefully I've explained it, uh, what's going on uh, in my life um, as best as I could uh, without having a lot of medical knowledge. So again, thank you so much. And until then, I will see you.